Hi everyone, my name is Wes Rusev and this is episode number 11 of the East Auckland Property Show. So we're here again with Simeon Brown. Yeah, g'day, how are you? I think two or three months after the election? Yeah, two and a half months yeah. since the election. So uh, I'll just let him introduce himself for the people who don't know who Simeon Brown is and then I'll ask him a few questions. Yo, g'day, I'm Simeon Brown, I'm the new Member of Parliament for Pakaranga, and it's, um, it's great to be here with you, Bess, um, um, as the new MP, Yeah. and, uh, and good to be on, the, on your East Auckland property show. Yes, awesome. Yeah. So, what, what has changed for you, Simeon, since you were elected, I mean, in personal life, yeah. more than... Oh, it's been, been some big changes, yeah. so um, the election happened on September the 23rd, yeah. after six months of campaigning. And um, you know, very grateful for all the support received out here in, in Pakaranga. Um, but yeah, personally, it's been quite quite a big change. So I'm now down in down in Wellington uh, yeah. three days of most weeks. Okay. So I'm um, flying down on a Tuesday morning back <laughs> on a Thursday night. Um, so it's a very different environment down there. So when you're down in Parliament, it's a very um, very controlled environment. Yeah. Um, part of the National Party, so we all work together as a team. There's lots of meetings to go to, select committees how it all operates in the house, you, you've got to be told where you have to be, when and what you have to say and all of this. Okay. And then I come back home and uh, I've got all my work to do in the electro. And you know, this morning I was at the primary school. So very different um, different worlds that you work in, but I'm really thoroughly enjoying it. Okay, awesome. And we discussed a few of the local projects last yeah. time. Can you give us an update? So a few, a few updates. So one of the one of the big um, projects for East Auckland is the Amity Eastern Busway. Yeah. Uh, so that construction is starting on that next year. So that's all, all, all go, which is fantastic. Okay. I'm really looking forward to seeing that underway um, to improve public transport connections out into East Auckland. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some uh, teething challenges with that, just with, with every, every, you know, within any big construction work. Yeah. Um, you know, there'll be um, lots of red cones, orange cones everywhere <laughs> and as roadworks come out our way, um, which will make things a bit of a challenge at times. Um, but, you know, this is going to be a good project and we've got to, you know, go through some pain to get the game. Yeah, yeah. Um, What's the time frame for this one to be? So it starts next year and I think it's a four to five year time frame. Okay. Uh, so the, the first stage is the busway between Pakaranga and pa Panmu, mm -hmm. and then there's the Reeves Road flyover. Yeah. And then there's the busway between Pakaranga and Botany. So, okay. um, It'll all, all happen in its good timing. There's going to be some properties which will need to be um, demolished and removed along Tiraka Drive. Uh, so not Tiraka Drive, initially, uh, Pakaranga Road, mm -hmm. down towards the bridge. Yeah. Um, so lots of changes will be seen and happening over the next little while. But um, yeah, it'll be good to do another video once we start seeing some of those changes happening. Absolutely. Even a little Yeah. Another one of the big projects is the East West Link. Yep. And um, we may have discussed that last time yes. I was here, but mm. that was the motorway connection between um, uh, Penrose and Onahanga, yep. and uh, the new government has cancelled that, just, mm. just decided they don't want to go ahead with it. Okay. Um, you know, I'm, I'm opposed to the cancelling of that, it's, it was going to cost, uh, it was going to cost a lot of money, but it was an important connection mm. in an area where 68,000 people are employed, yeah. it produces I think $4.8 billion of, of GDP to New Zealand's economy, and uh, has over 6,000 truck movements a day. So it's a, it's a hub of New Zealand's, and mm. particularly south and East Auckland's economy, yeah. and uh, critical to keeping, keeping this part of Auckland moving. So you know, we're going to keep working to, to, um, to support that and yeah. see what the government's alternative is. They haven't got a plan, so we're going to keep asking okay. them what that plan is. What was their main concern? Budget well, their main concern was, well, they keep saying it's the cost, mm -hmm. um, but the, the cost of that included not only building the road, but also a huge amounts of work in terms of restoring the harbour, yeah. um, providing recreational uh, uh, places along the, along the foreshore, yeah. and investing in better stormwater and water management along the coastline there. Okay. So um, huge, huge investment and an important part of, um, a part of Auckland. Yes, okay, I understand that. Do you want to comment on a few of the the immigration or the yeah, so there's lots of well, there's lots of things we don't exactly know what Labor's doing. So they've okay. said they're going to make changes to immigration. Yes, they've got housing policies, social welfare policies. There's no detail. 
Okay. The only Still no detail. No detail. The only thing we know that's coming is they're going to take away the tax cuts we put in place for next year. Okay. Uh, so they're going to legislate before Christmas to take those tax cuts away. Mm -hmm. That's the only detail we've got. But the rest is still no detail. Okay. Just lots of talking and we'll get back to you. Kind what of are all the petrol tax? Well, that's, that's something which is um, in the pipeline. Mm -hmm. So uh, the government has said they're going to give Auckland Council the ability to charge 10 cents a litre on tax to fund projects like the busway or tramway up Dominion Road. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I don't know how you feel about that, but <laughs> as someone who, you know, as someone who lives out here in East Auckland, yeah. um, you fill up your car, pay 10 cents a litre plus GST on all that petrol. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you've ever used a bus up Dominion Road or if you'll ever go to Dominion Road, but um, mm -hmm. that's what your money is going to be going towards. There'll be no benefit for you or mm -hmm. for anyone else here. Yeah. Uh, here in East Auckland. So when is the plan for this new tax to be uh, From introduced? July 1 next year. Ah, uh, okay. Yep. That's the new budget. So it's coming soon. Mm -hmm. It's coming soon. Do you, are you aware of the new government valuation, the new council valuation? Yes, I saw stuff. those come out the other day. So some big changes there. Mm -hmm. um, I think the key, the key message to people is just because your house value has gone up doesn't mean your rates are going to go up. Yeah. Um, if, if, as long, if It depends on whether your, your, your house value has gone up faster than the average yeah and depending on whether you have a rate a yeah. rates increase or not so have a look at it um, but don't get too alarmed if it's gone up a substantial amount yeah i think 49 percent was the average yeah across Auckland. so mm -hmm. measure the average and see whether you're below or above that yeah i think most of the properties in east Auckland are when more than 50 percent yeah and because i go through a lot of you know those mm -hmm. analysis for different properties in the area yeah what actually happened is they've doubled the value of the land yeah they probably kept the same the value of the improvements value, yeah, which is the, the improvement yeah. this is the the, the, the building property. yeah the property and it's very often the, the new the new cvs are higher than the market value yeah so we'll see how the 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 the, the, mar the market will accept that yeah that change there is a there is an opportunity there for people to um you know if they feel like it's gone up substantially higher than what their neighbors or mm -hmm. others around them have gone up there is an ability for them to have that reviewed Okay. Um, so if it's a, if, it, if it seems unreasonable, yeah. Um, then there is a, there is not, and it's on the letter uh, yeah. ability for you to have it reviewed if you do think it's completely unreasonable. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Awesome. So, thanks for an update. No, thank you. Good to be here again. Soon again. Absolutely. And good luck and yep. all the best. Really appreciate it. Thank you.